now that we've established that Marcus was just protecting Josh that night, let's hear uh, Jane's side story. Well, first, let me apologize. Um, I was going through a lot with my job and my relationship. Plus, I was super drunk, but that's still no excuse for my behavior. I didn't mean to offend you or your dude. That ain't my dude. He's not? No, I'm straight. Oh, well, I just assumed because of the whole fight. Yeah, I don't need a whole Tarzan look. This is not broke back junk. You know I hate you, right? No, no. So, no hard feelings? Yeah, no hard feelings. Yeah, we good. Kelsey, perfect timing. Well, you're not going to make you think of it. Same. So I'm going to grab my hat out the car and we can get out of here. Wait. You're not going to work today? Oh, no. Um, we got court stuff to do. You're not going to give me a ride? Don't you have a bike? Don't say those on me. You do want to change. I'll see you later, though. Marcus! Ha ha! It's not funny, Marcus. You have some very interesting friends. Yeah, but you got to love them. Speaking of friends, I have somebody that I like you to Already, I don't want to talk about it. You know it is not that time of the month. I just need a little bit of space. Is that so much to ask for? I love you too. I gotta work. China, I am so sorry about that girl. No problem. No relationship is perfect. Trust me, I've been through the ringer. What do you think I got? <laughs> I know, girl, but it is just so irritating. No. Yeah, I'm no Oprah. And you know, I hate to pry in people's business. But to me, it just seems like he doesn't listen. Exactly. And you know what? I don't even think he's listening when I'm telling him he's not listening. I just need a little bit of space. Everybody needs a little space sometimes. In relationships, they talk about how communication is the key. Yeah. But communication isn't the only key. There's the understanding key okay there's the comprehension key mm -hmm. there's the i need my space key so many different keys you start to feel like a janitor <laughs> hey, dr johnson speaking of the dust bunny <laughs> hey lady <laughs> bug hi kavan <laughs> you know johnny you might be right thanks I'm really glad to know that you are really listening to other people's conversations. I do what I can. <laughs> Let me get to work. <sighs> Hello, excuse me, sir. We're not open yet. <laughs> yeah, I can see that, right? I'm, I'm not blind. Ooh, the disrespect. So, do you mind waiting in the lobby? Uh. <laughs> Uh, actually, I do mind. Look, I'm, I'm Health Inspector Thomas, uh, leading health inspector of the city. Uh, look, I, I, I came by to do my routine check, uh, and to tell you the truth, I can already point out several things wrong with your clinic. Oh, that was today? I can get the doctor. Hey, Alex, can Wait, you? Please, look, <sighs> There's no need. I, I've seen enough. Okay. Um, you, your appointment wasn't until tomorrow to do a thorough check of the facility. I like to print this. Thankfully, for, actually, luckily for you, uh, I have another location to be today. Yours just happened to be on the right. So I'll let the doctor know. Good. I'm, uh, I'm glad that's something you can do. And, uh, one more thing, like you, your appearance, it's, uh, it's not up to code. That, that, that 
cares, though. It's just, it's not professional for this line of work, okay? Um, I, mean, I mean, don't you agree? But, uh, I expect everyone, that, that includes you, uh, to, to be in proper dress code, okay? Uh, <laughs> perfect timing, Doctor. Uh, I'm Health Inspector Thomas. Uh, Look, I'll, I'll be back tomorrow to do my uh, routine check here at your facility. I expect everything and everyone to, uh, to be in line. Have a good day. Wait, I think you have the wrong... You going to get your hair done today? Why are you saying that? It's the only time I've ever seen you looking like Sasha Wild. Sasha Sasha Did I say something wrong? China? Well, everything seems to be in order. This place actually passed flying colors. That's great! I might even explain myself to you. Excuse me? This, this conversation, it's above your pay grade and most likely your understanding. But I, I need to go. Just have a nice day anyway, dumb blonde. What a jerk. Hey, Jackie. Is everything okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Uh, welcome to Monster Donuts. Is this your first time here? Oh, no, I love it here. I come here all the time. You remember Marcus, right? Yes, I do. How are you? I'm good. And yourself? Good. Thanks for asking. That's great. I'm going to check out the new flavor sort of one. I'll be right back. All right. Be sure to grab me a vegan donut. You got it. It's so good. <laughs> I would say I'm surprised to see you working here, but she really doesn't work everywhere. I mean, yeah, kind of. It's just here I'm a manager because this place is going to branch out and then I'll be a franchise owner. But until then, I'm a manager. Hmm. You don't think you're underbidding yourself at all? What do you mean? I mean, you're obviously a very educated woman with tons of experience of diplomas. Why are you taking on these thankless odd jobs? Us women can do so much better. Excuse me, sweetheart. I got the donuts. He's not worth that. Are y'all okay? Did he say something to you? Leave it, Marcus. You're already in enough trouble as it is. Come on, let's go. It's nice seeing you. You too. Uh, and then eventually they'll be able to do. Uh, so, what do you think? What are you doing? I'm headed towards the light because I swear I just heard the voice of an angel. <laughs> Stop. You're making me blush. But I don't want to. I like the way that smile looks on you. <laughs> so this is today's lesson, huh? Yep. It's simple, but it teaches them how to control their voice as they go up. Well, speaking of lessons, we should probably get to class before freeze, hot dogs freeze, and temperatures of hot dogs freeze, and that's what we're learning in class, and nutrition, health, and lessons. Class! class. It's good to actually hear you talking about class today, Josh. Huh. Yep, we're ahead of there right now. Mm -hmm. Great. Josh, would you mind waiting for me in the hall? I have some things I need to discuss. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Marie, would you mind having a seat for me, please? Sure. Well, it's come to my attention that you're not being a very good example for your students. I'm not? Apparently, you think it's okay to flaunt your relationship here on campus. I don't know what relationship you speak of. Do not play coy with me, Ms. Stellar. I think Josh is rubbing off on you in more ways than one. Now, if you could just keep your relationship here professional at school, we could all get along smoothly. Thank you for your understanding. Is everything okay? Yes. I just spoke with the board, and you're looking really good for the assistant coaching position. <laughs> That's 
shot, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Can you believe what just happened? Yeah, he sent him in the running. It's amazing. Are you serious? Everything's looking like only up and up for Josh. You really don't know what I'm talking about. That's good for you, Josh. <laughs> I think we should keep our relationship professional. Have a good day, Mr. Fields. What the hell did I do? Mr. Fields. Damn it. My office now. It's like talking to a brick wall sometimes. He's built like one. I'm surprised your voice even reaches that high. And, you know, I can make myself heard. I just don't always want to go there. And what's with the whole calendar thing? It is so damn irritating that when men think that it is your period every time you're upset. It only happens once a month. They annoy you once a week. Men say the stupidest things. Girl, do you think my hair is unprofessional? What? No. Your, your hair is powerful. Who says some stupid stuff like that? It was that whack-ass health inspector. And all my life, I've been damaging my hair to be professional. I remember when my mommy used to take that hot comb off the stove and put it right next to my ear. Oh, mama, no, no, mama. On that note, I'm gonna head to lunch with a girl. Do you wanna come? <laughs> no, girl, no. I'm gonna stay here. I, you know, I'm, I think I need some me time. I might go get a good mani pedi or something. Okay, yeah, have fun. It's because we keep electing corrupt individuals into positions of power. Mm. That's because big business owns our legislative system through bribery. I'm sorry, lobbying. <laughs> and all the while we have elected officials sliding in ridiculous legislations. What does a million dollar fountain in town square have to do with housing the homeless? It's like a bad relationship. They have all these great running campaigns. They tell you what you want to hear. They make you feel a lot good inside. And then as soon as you get in bed with them, boom, they change. <laughs> it's like the second they get the vote, the old representatives are forcing them to conform to the old ways. Mm. It's like neither side is really for us. It's like the second they get a hold of power, they use it to bring others down. Mm. Takes one and no one. What do you mean? Earlier, you put me down for working in a donut shop. Well, you're working at a donut shop. Yes, and I'm working towards my future. Honestly, Kelsey, I don't need your approval. I need your support. And I did want to talk to you about it sooner, but we were interrupted. And I just think it's a lowball job for you. Kelsey, does it matter? A server, if I'm a teacher or, or a dog walker, there's no such thing as a worthless job. Think about it, you're a lawyer, right? And you wanted a donut, and it's my job to get you what you want. If there's anything I've learned from working all of these jobs, it's that we should never put anyone down for what they do. Oh, I didn't mean to offend. Oh, I did. And I'm telling you now, because we're friends, and I just really hope that you understand. Jackie, I'd like to formally apologize. I do support you and your future. I just, I get really competitive sometimes and I can't get rid of it. That's the patriarchy. Tell them, girl. <laughs> well, studies show that women in positions of power start to display the same toxic traits men do in the same positions. And they say the reason is, we need to work harder to prove we can do the same jobs men do. And that hardens us. And then we take it out on other women, assuming they're after our positions we barely hold on to. It's the patriarchy we all know and love, men and women alike. And those that don't identify with those categories. Speaking of the patriarchal man, let me tell you what this gentleman said about my hair. Ugh. One patted me on my head this morning. Oh, hell no. He would never write again if he touched this beautiful well, hair. I had an interesting encounter myself. Why don't you start? And I will finish. <laughs> and then we're in the middle of our conversation, and he walks up, grabs his pen, and he says, Excuse me, sweetheart. I hate when they say sweetheart. Oh. 
It's like if it's not my partner or my father. Yeah, same. Yeah, if you're not a loved one, I don't really need you saying it to me. You know, if they didn't say it in a condescending and degrading way, I probably wouldn't mind. But in all of my experiences, that's what it is. What will be the equivalent of... Honey, you're barking up the wrong tree. Look here, tentacle fingers. You're squirting out the wrong clam. <laughs> Why tentacles? Oh, that's nasty. <laughs> Stop. Sir, you are rolling down the wrong lane. There it is. <laughs> But seriously, we can't just sit idly by and not say anything. Our foremothers' voices were silenced, but that doesn't mean we have to be. As Ariana Huffington would say, fearlessness is like a muscle. I learned in my life that the more I exercise it, the easier it becomes. So not let my fears run. Huffington, the founder of Huffington Post. Mm -hmm. Well, I'd post up on someone before I let them talk to me like that. You know, Jackie came in with a perfect example. She wanted to address an issue, and all she needed was the support of her friends and a calm discussion to settle it. And now, I'm not going to let anybody talk to me anyway. I don't want them to. And I need to explain that unwanted touching is not okay. It's actually illegal. I won't go there yet, but that's not out of the question. Call me. Well, I'd hate to call it here, but I have patience to see. All right, I'll pay for lunch. Thank you. Go ahead, big baller. <laughs> Sorry you weren't invited to lunch today, but it was ladies' lunch. Oh, no offense, Tuckin. Trust me. I may play for the other team, but I am no lady. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the office and finish off today. Perfect. You know, I left something at work anyway, so I need to go over it. You know, China, I <laughs> love language, physical touch. Keep loving me. Talk, but keep loving me. China. Talk to him. Yes? Oh, come on! I need to talk to you for a second. Can you please come here, please? Do you know what you do? Somebody call me? China, I would like to apologize for the side trip off. <laughs> I thought it was okay. It is what it is. And I appreciate the apology. And it wasn't all you earlier. Someone came in and they said something that really hurt my feelings and it kind of put me on edge. What'd they say? That my hair is unbecoming to the professional work environment. That's not cool. At all. No, it's not. And it, it really hurt me. But this back and forth thing is like kind of who we are. It's what we do, you know? So <laughs> I don't want to lose our friendship. Uh, I understand. Getting ridiculed for your hair every day of our lives, that compiling up, it can make anybody sensitive. Yeah. Now you get it. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll get back to work, being stuck. Whatever, she wants that. You know, I think I have an idea. <laughs> mm, look at here. The two lovebirds. Oh, whoa, that's completely uncalled for. I'm just calling it how I see it. See what? Two people having a conversation because that's all it was. The whole lovebird thing insinuates that there's more going on than a growing friendship. That's not what I've been hearing. Exactly. Hearing. See, you could have taken us both to the side and asked us exactly what was going on, but instead you take her to the side and put all the blame on her shoulders. And then you go off and Josh. you touch. You're right. I've said too much. Shouldn't be coming from me. Principal Friesman, I did not appreciate you patting my head. Oh. It was not okay. You are my boss and you are to never touch me. No, Maria, L listen to no, me. No, Mr. Friesman. As men, it is our time to listen. What are you, some kind of feminist? What? No. Why not? Feminism is the struggle to end domination in all of its forms. Bell hooks. Marie, what does that have to do with this? Well, look, you have little Lisa, right? Yes, yes, my little girl. Say one day she wanted to be a principal. You'd be proud. Would you want her to make equal pay or 70 cents to the dollar? 
Well, of course, I would want her to make equal pay. But the Making equal pay and not being touched are feminist issues. Ending domination in all of its forms. Look, I don't want to make a big deal out of this, but you needed to know how I felt. And moving forward, I'll be more professional at work. Same. Now, excuse me. Huh. Well, I never... Never thought? Yeah. See, that's part of the problem, is we don't think. Why have you never patted me on the head? Hmm? Yeah. Thinking about it now, huh? Because you can't dominate me. Like all men try to dominate women. Not all men try to... Shut up, Eric! I'm not saying that all men are out here being malicious towards women. I'm saying all men have the ability to be. See, you and I were both blind to our actions. And until we see this as a man's problem and not a woman's, more men will perpetrate these actions. We need to dominate men. What's going on? I didn't mean it like that, and did you have the day off? I do have the day off, but I left, left my lunch pail somewhere in here. I didn't want staking up the place. But I leave you for one day, and you start a whole revolution? Was it? We need to be better. Excuse me. What did you do to him? So, Josh, about dominating men, we talking like change whips and handcuffs? I'm not you with a freak. Hey, babe. No, nothing's wrong. I was just here at the office uh, thinking about you guys. Thought I'd give you a call. Um, well, um, what do you want for dinner? I'll pick something up today. Great, 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 great. Um, I'm gonna try to rush home right after school. Um, but no, no, don't hang up. Uh, can I talk to Lisa? Um, yeah, I know it's the middle of her piano lesson, but I, I really want to hear her voice. Thank you. Hey, honey. Yeah, I, Daddy just wanted to talk to you. Um, you know Daddy loves you, right? I know I haven't been the easiest father but I'm really going to try to do better for you and for your mom. So how was school today? Really? The honor roll. Yeah. Blood's in the family. See what I can find today. What the hell? What? Well, hello. What? Hello, Thomas. Was it? Uh, health inspector Thomas. Don't care. You, the person who's supposed to come here and check for mold, had the audacity to comment on my hair and tell me it's unprofessional for the workplace. Can you please tell me why? Okay, well, traditionally, uh, straighter hair is more acceptable for the workplace, so let's just... Do what you know, and until you know better. And when you know better, do better. Dr. Dr. Maya, Maya Angelou. Black people's hair don't grow straight. It takes extensive work, money, pain, and a lot of damage for our natural hair to be traditionally acceptable. So, screw your traditions. Mr. Thomas, was it? Hi, I'm Dr. Alex Johnson. This is my clinic. I believe you spoke to my employee instead of me yesterday. Your demeanor was less than brainless. And you had the nerve to comment on her hair. I am not my hair. I am the soul within. India, India Ari. Seeing that this is my establishment, 
I say what is acceptable as a dress code in my workplace. I hope that is understood. Look here, lady. I'm understood. Okay. Oh, and one last thing. I had the liberty of speaking to Sheila Williams, and I told her how you speak to women while you're on the clock. She wasn't happy to hear about that. Uh, Sheila, hey, look, no, 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 I, I need this job. No, I need it. No, they're, they're lying, okay, they're lying. And that is how you handle someone. <laughs> Can I get hey. some? <laughs> yes. He almost peed his pants. Girl, because you did that. <laughs> okay, I need the job. I need the job, please, please. Oh, oh thank you, guys. <laughs> thank I need you the did. job, I need the job. They're lying, they're lying. <laughs> Okay, bye.